Yo, 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 what's going on guys? I hope you're all super well. It is the perfect weather and the perfect time to go do some training. It's currently about six o'clock and I've been doing studying. I know I... I haven't studied in a long time since high school, which which was about this time last year. Because I'm interested in the US opportunity, I can't just sit here and say, I'm a footballer, sign me up to your college. I also need to sit an SAT exam and I actually need to do well in it. So an SAT, it's basically general knowledge of reading and maths and comprehension, stuff like that. I managed to get an all right score, but if I want to get a good one, which will open up a lot more opportunities over there, then I'm going to need to get an even better score. So that's been my morning now I'm going to go out kick a ball what I love doing it's not going to be intense at all because tomorrow I'm going and playing for Dorchester reserves it's confirmed that I'm in the squad I booked my train tickets booked my accommodation so that's tomorrow I'll go play with the reserves I might get a full game I might get 60 minutes I might get 30 minutes who knows but I'm basically just happy to be part of that squad I have to get there at 5 20 and then I think we get on the bus for about an hour or 45 minutes and then we play the game so that's going to be interesting. I may get some footage because I know that some clubs film the game, but I'm not sure. Well, there's some people training down here. That's cool. Finishing up my session, that crossbar needs to be here. That's a wrap down here and man, I'm feeling pretty good after that session. I had some nice juggling, had a couple of good free kicks. That last clip, that one took a while to do because I kept messing up that hocus pocus, but I'm getting there. I'm slowly perfecting that technique. It's going to take a lot of time, but I was just thinking about it once I finally got it. Imagine being able to dribble at a defender at speed and do that move. The possibilities are endless in 1v1 situations, even 1v2, where you can get it in between them. Oh, I, I really want to get that skill down, Pat. The game's good. Like I said, I'm feeling good. I think I'm going in with a good attitude. I'm not necessarily thinking of it as a trial game. I'm more thinking of it as like a, just a game because I haven't played in a while. I just want to get out there, get some minutes and just play football. And that's what I love doing. So, you know, of course it's a trial. It could be an opportunity to get into the first team, but I just want to see it as a an opportunity to play, learn, get better, because that's all it is. And if you go in with a mindset, especially for you young guys going into trials and trial matches with teams and academies and whatnot, and you get in the mindset of thinking, man, I gotta make this team. You're just not going to play your best. So how I like to think about it is that, you know, it's a trial, but it's football and I love playing football. So I'm gonna go out there and do what I do best. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. It's gonna to be a good day. I don't think I've played for maybe two weeks now. It's a long time. Anyway, I'm walking home now. I think we're having pork chops for dinner from my understanding. I forget a little bit. And Ed's wife, she cooks so well. I think she's going to cook them and then put them in the oven and make oh, something amazing. I, I know it. Also, for those of you who missed out on a video maybe five or six days ago, I released my match analysis of the UK football trials. I found out whether I got scouted, whether I didn't. If you haven't checked that one out, make sure you do. There should be a link. One of these corners, I don't know. You know what to do. Check it out. For dinner, we got potatoes. Is that cr cream or cheese? No, it's cream. Potatoes and cream, peas, broccoli, and then some pork with onion and mushrooms. Looks good as always. I'm walking down to the football, just watching it at a pub. Ed crossed without me. He went without me. <laughs> I was too. That one that came up the outside. He must have been doing about 50. Oh yeah, I was gonna die Jesus. if I crossed. I don't know what you were doing. <laughs> Anyway, Real Madrid and Borussia Dortmund are playing, so we're going to go watch that. Should be quite an attacking game. You've got Ronaldo, Bale, and then on the other side, you've got a Bamiyang and whatnot, but that was pretty scary. <laughs> I have these teenage moments, you know. <laughs> Who do you reckon is going to win between Real Madrid and Borussia Dortmund? Who's going to win? Yeah, who's going to win? Oh, 
Who's home? Dunno. Yeah, it's a wild guess. <laughs> I think um, Real. Real, I'm the same. Yeah. There's no Real Madrid pressure, Dortmund on, so we've been watching Spartak Moscow versus Liverpool and some random team versus Tottenham. Pretty interesting game, Upper the Liverpool well. one. Upper well, that's the one. The Liverpool one's pretty interesting, couple of good chances in there, and they're playing some nice football as well. What a save, check this one out. Oh! What a save. Liverpool finished that one off 1 all. Tottenham won 3 0. What happened with Argyle? Oh, conceded a late penalty, which they converted, make 1 0. And then just after that, Carey hit the bar and time added. So, sounds like our defensive rear guard action <laughs> could have earned us a point. Yeah, it was getting close. You probably would have been happy with a point. Oh, again. yeah. Yeah. Especially in the circumstances and against Wigan. Yeah, but it was not to be, no. so Plymouth lost 1-0. I didn't get to see Real Madrid. Madrid won 3-1, so he oh, predicted right. it right. <laughs> the professional tipsters that we are. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're heading back home now. Catch you guys later on. I'm still yet to score a goal in England, and I remember a couple of weeks ago, Ed's just down there ready, he's going to appear. <laughs> Out of the darkness. <laughs> Appears! <laughs> yeah. So, I remember a couple of weeks ago, Yeah. we spoke about visualisation. Yes. So maybe... That's right. The key to me scoring my first goal in England... Yes. ...could be visualisation. What That's do you it. think? You, you've got to talk yourself into it, imagine it. Yeah. You've got to say, I'm going to score tomorrow. That's the plan. Dream it. Yeah. And then do it. Yeah. All right. And, and, and visualise the, the action of hitting the ball into the top corner. Right, so get some detail in there. Okay, sounds yeah. good. Oh, I'm keen now, I'm pumped. You've got yes, me pumped up. That's <laughs> it. First goal for Dorchester tomorrow. Oh, let's get it. Get in there. I'm heading off to bed now, getting that visualization done because it's going to be an exciting day tomorrow. I have about a four hour train trip, stay the night in Dorchester, play a match. Can't wait, super keen. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like, hit that subscribe button if you're new around here, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.